Anthony, we've got our full-time Christian youth worker here, um, Anthony. But you've got quite an interesting, interesting story, not least, I always remember kind of taking my kids and bumping into you in the, in the reptile store down at Clandon. Yes. Yeah. But um, tell us a little bit more about, about your journey. Yeah, so, um, well, a bit of a backstory. So I've been here for, well, joined since I was seven, so I've been here 23 years as part of the church. So I've been here 23 years. We've got long-termers this evening, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, you can't get rid of us, really. That's it. You just <laughs> linger around. However hard they try, we stay firm. <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been here for 23 years, grew up in Bookham, um, but yes, then got a job at the reptile shop in Clandon, yeah. but have always had kind of this heart for young people, always being involved in youth work in some way, shape or form. So yeah, whether yeah. that be through scouting, so I went through scouts. Um, that was quite early on, you said, really yeah. like quite So I was about 11 yeah. when I sort of wow. came back as just helping out at Beavers, helping run the games. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, and it's just starting off doing the really small things, nothing sort of major, but just carried on and journeying with it. Um, and then even through church, just kind of getting just any activity that there was, if they needed a hand, I got involved with that. Um, so that's always sort of been around. But equally love working with animals as well. So I did think there was a time that actually I would want to work with animals. Uh, so I studied a foundation degree in animal management, um, which has come really handy working with young people. It's been great. Uh, very transferable skills, I have to say. Um, so all that time studying that foundation degree and then got a job, as I said, at Clandon, the reptile shop. And yeah. I was there for mm, uh, probably about eight years. Started when I was 18. Yeah, quite a while then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, been yeah. there quite a yeah. while. Um, but sort of mid point of that, uh, working at the reptile shop, I went to Lanzarote to yeah. study scuba diving. And so it's a time, when I was out in Lanzarote, it was sort of a time for me to search, a time for me to find myself, which I didn't quite know. That's what yeah. I was sort of doing, but that's, on, on reflection, I think yeah, yeah. that's kind of why I went out there. And it was when I was out there, we had three school groups come out. And when they came out, I just really came alive and I was kind of going, okay, God, what's what's in this? Why is it, especially when sort of young people turn up, why do I really sort of become yeah. a life, sort of the person you've created me to be? What, where is that? What's that about? Yeah, yeah. Um, and as you do, you sort of contemplate on it a bit and then you go, I thought about that. We shall park it and we'll carry on with the plan that I have. <laughs> and so the plan that I had was to then, because I love scuba diving, uh, was to then go on cruise ships because it was a good way to, in my opinion, to see the world and then dive at, various different site, dive sites and just Jeez, yeah, see yeah. what there is. Um, and I was getting all geared up for that, ready for that. And then the Lord once again intervened um, to think that he had a better plan than I had. I mean... <laughs> Can't I, believe it, can I, you? I know, right? I know. <laughs> Person who thinks he created everything thinks he knows what was best for me. And, um, and so, yeah, so then brought me back. I then carried on with the reptile shop. And then when I came back, I got involved with... Um, the youth group here at Bookham. Yeah, yeah. And so that I was 22, uh, so I was only out there for nine months and so not long at all. Uh, so came back uh, when I was 22 and got very much involved with the youth work here. Uh, 25, I bought a flat, um, and so then obviously buying a flat, you have a mortgage, and so I was like, ah, oh, I need money to pay for this mortgage. So my boss couldn't give me a raise, and so I thought, well, if Youth work's clearly on my heart. Um, and of course, I've had three years now being with Bookham to really you know, suss out that this is probably what God's called me to. Right, well, if I'm going to change jobs, let's change into what God's calling me into. Because if I don't do it now, the likelihood is I never will. Yeah. So just knowing yeah. myself, that's probably the angle I was working on. So tried various, it, it, well, applied for various different places. Um, and I got an interview with a church over in Woking. Um, but that was for a, f a children's and youth worker position, so a combined one. Um, they went, you're great with the youth, need a bit more experience with the, with the children. Um, but it's, and they said, it's very obvious you have a heart for young people, but there is a church over in Perfect and they're specifically looking for a youth worker. So yeah. email them, drop our name into it um, and see what comes of it. And so lo and behold, uh, 20, well, End of 2018, they offered me a job when I started there 2019. So, wow. Well uh, so yes, I'm now in full-time youth, youth ministry. Fantastic. And you clearly had that heart. 
that you kind of uh, seem to ignore the old adage that you shouldn't work with uh, children or animals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but you work yeah. with both, and yeah. um, clearly it's God steered you through that journey. Just like with Sarah, you know, it's evolved yeah. uh, um, as time's gone by. You know, is there sort of, you know, as you look back over that journey, are there kind of like particular kids or youth or et cetera, you kind of think that, that when, when you, you said about feeling most alive, where, where you kind of felt, well, this is what I'm really about. Um, yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of been different times, but I mean, Soul Survivor is a massive one. So Soul Survivor is a huge yeah. Christian festival. Um, and that is really where you see young people really at their most vulnerable, um, which is great. Um, that they feel safe enough and strong enough to be able to be that vulnerable. Um, but the atmosphere is just completely different because you just almost, although we're surrounded by God's presence, you just feel it so much more when yeah. you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so there's definitely sort of young people that I've journeyed with through sort of Soul Survivor through here. Um, and especially at Soul Survivor, where you're just able to come along with them because you're with them for like four or five days. Um, and so you have the whole day that you can just chat if you want to or whatever it might be yeah yeah um but there were some really good good conversations that kind of came yeah. out from that so um and because you're with them for so long you can kind of have that conversation go away and then come back again and even within sort of the space of a day or an hour or a meeting for that matter the conversation you had and whether it was like oh, i'm not feeling god i'm not this you know I mean, we might pray about it they'll have a main have a main meeting person up front they then had a word, and we're just like, yes, what were we talking about? <laughs> so for you. Um, and so, yeah, so that just kind of really kind of keeps your faith going. Like, yeah, God's there. He's working. It's he's, fantastic. He's Those sort of highs about that. And, yeah. and there's so many people I, I know from Book and mm. Baptist, but other churches I've been with, St. Mary's and Fetchham, and they look back on, particularly Soul Survivor yeah. that you mentioned, as some of those very formative times. Mm. Uh, and a particular gift I've always noticed you've had is this kind of, you're kind of mucking about and then in the next moment actually helping somebody with something quite important yeah, yeah. <laughs>